it's 14th of July 2022 a warm day sweltering heat the rains have been absent this past one week and I'm going to visit a salt farm of Mr. and Mrs. Jituing Nyume. So down there in the center you can see some hedgerows in the middle of the bamboo. You can see the hedgerows. So let's go down and take a closer look. He started this farm in 2020, 17th March 2021. We are at Jitwing Salt Farm. He cleared this land of bamboo and the scrub last year, that is 2020, and he cultivated paddy and other jhum crops here. And now this year 21, he's planning to convert this into a salt farm for settled agriculture. You can see that this part of the farm is pretty steeply sloping and prone to erosion. And down there he has constructed a little bamboo hut and below that is the fish pond. And this is the land around. So he plans to mark the contour lines using the A-frame and develop the hedgerows, contour hedgerows of nitrogen fixing plants and plant a variety of horticultural crops. So this was excavated and dammed in 2019. So we provided him with some money to pay the labor to make this earthen dam. And then he bought some fish from Ale's fish pond in Aben. He bought some fingerlings and he put them here. But unfortunately, during the rainy season, the pond was full and he tried to modify the outlet and the dam breached. So he lost all his fish as well. But again in 2020, it was repaired and uh, a fresh batch of fingerlings were procured from Ali's fish pond, which you see now here. They seem to be doing well. Oh. Feeding the fish, he just fed them uh, termites. We are on the upper part of the farm and here we have a team from MoMA, Manipur Organic Mission Agency, the DWSS, the Diocesan Social Service Society, based out of Imphal. And they have come here for exposure and training on salt <laughs> using the A-frame. Fourteenth July two thousand twenty two. I am at the salt farm of Mr. Jituing Nyume. And we are looking at this fish pond, which he started 
think this is the third year. They're all babies which are born here. This is view of the vegetation. Here is an areca nut palm, banana, sugarcane. Here is a betel nut, areca nut plantation, what they call Tamil locally. It's below that hedgerow. Let's take a closer look. That's a hedgerow, indigo fera. In fact, you can see three lines of hedgerows. Let's go see what is growing between the hedgerows. Taking a walk between the hedgerows. Hedgerows are grown tall, they need to be pruned to around one meter height above ground level. This is a busy time for farmers because they're probably growing a jhum as well for their staple food grains. And that done, then they will come and look after the field. But as I said, they have been weeding this. The yam is looking very good. The hedgerows are also looking very good, serving the purpose of soil water conservation. Here you can see the effectiveness of the barriers. Let's go up. Here is again some more yam. So it's obvious he's growing this yam as a cash crop beyond their food requirements for off season. He's going to get a good harvest. So this all was covered with bamboo three years ago, this entire field, before he converted into salt. And he put in the fish pond and these hedgerows. These trees big leaves they are for timber they grow straight up and good value for poles i'm at the house of jituing nyume the farmer so he, this is the house in aben basti it's about a couple of kilometers away from his salt farm so this is jituing कैसा है आप? कैसा है? तो आप बीमार था? हाँ बीमार है। एक बीमार से ज़्यादा जीवन हॉस्पिटल में बैठा। ये हम तो स्वार के लिए हैं। अच्छा। पिगरी के लिए। तो स्वार कितना है? स्वार अभी तीन सौ है। तीन सौ है। तो उसको खिलाने के लिए लगाया। अच्छा अच्छा। तो स्वर से कितना कमाएगा फिर? ज़्यादा होने से तो बसा जो जुल्म हुआ सा बेचेगा। अच्छा, तो स्वर भी माई है? हाँ माई है। उसका बच्चा निकाल के बेचेगा। हाँ। अच्छा। और मछली? मछली भी अच्छा है आपका? हाँ, मछली भी सेवेंटी मफे है। सेवेंटी और बड़ा वाला कितना था? बड़ा वाला अभी तो तीन साल तो ने पहला कितना था जो खाया? पहले बीस मफी है सब खा लिया खा लिया अभी ये बच्चा निकला और ऊपर में और क्या लगाया संतरा सब लगाया ऊपर में संतरा हाँ दोस ग्रास मफी तो लगाया अच्छा लेकिन किसान होगा वो तेज करने के लिए लगाया अच्छा संतरा बगान बड़ा होता है ओ पर में अच्छा जोम तो नहीं बगान में तो हम इंटरेस है जोम का काम तो हम हाथ नहीं लगाया अच्छा 
लेकिन बगान में तो पूरा इंटरेस्ट है लेकिन हमारा प्रॉब्लम लेकिन तो बीमार से प्रॉब्लम है ऐसा ना होने से अभी नीचे वाला फिशरी बगान भी पूरा काट के शेष होना है झूम आपका औरत देखता है हाँ और झूम देखता है अच्छा ओके <laughs> He has another farm higher up, a kilometer away, which he has started in 2018. Now he has three small children, and when I asked him why are you having so many farms, so he said he wants to have one farm for each of his children. So that's a tremendous change in mindset from a jhum farmer who just. Cultivated from year to year, and kept changing the land. They never thought of building assets for the next generation. And here now we have farmers having two and three salt farms. He's got a good mix: hedgerows, long-term horticulture, that is the fruit trees, the areca nut, the timber trees, the medium-term horticulture like banana. Short term horticulture, yam. He's harvested some vegetables, and then he down down there he has a fish pond. So it's quite an integrated soil farm. <laughs>